Reporting to you live from PS207 Q Park, just 10 minutes outside Rockway, which has just been renovated from the damage done by Hurricane Sandy. From flooded classrooms, a flooded cafeteria, sponsors have created fundraisers which have helped turn this school from damage to fortune. Paradise isn't always what it seems, especially for Becca Cooper. Bachelor Ari Lyon Dyke Jr. had a change of heart two months after the season was over and made the decision to break off his engagement to Becca and pursue runner-up Lauren Burnham instead. The two got engaged on live television, leaving Becca heartbroken until producer Chris Harrison gave her the opportunity to be the next Bachelorette and find love again. Will Becca find love? Stay tuned for the next season beginning May 28th. Is Lori Laughlin wishing she was Aunt Becky right now? The star of Full House and When Calls the Heart star has pleaded not guilty to the charges accusing her and her husband Massimo Giannulli of paying $500,000 for her two kids, Bella and Olivia Giannulli, to attend the college USC in LA. If they are deemed guilty, both parents face up to 20 years in jail for money laundering. Although many people say that Laughlin and Giannulli should have pleaded guilty, as actress Felicity Huffman, sources close to Laughlin say that she believes she can win the case and have the charges dropped. This is Katerina Novica from St. Francis News. Not only have citizens been opposed to President Donald Trump's border wall proposal, it turns out that President Trump also has China on his list to worry about. With the U.S. and China imposing tariffs on billions of dollars worth of each other's goods, and China losing 3 million jobs in just a short amount of time, how far will the U.S.-China trade war escalate until both countries' markets reach their lowest points? Katerina Novikov, St. Francis News.